What is up everybody, Dr. GTA coming to you with a little video today for those of you who want to know how to convert cars from GTA 5 on consoles, PS3, Xbox 360, soon to be PS4 and Xbox One, and convert those over to the PC version of GTA 5 or GTA 4. Now basically, we already know GTA 5 PC version is not out, so don't worry about that. That will be in a later video. But for now, we're going to cover how to basically get it out so you'll have the car ready to go and have the probably have the car extracted and converted into GTA 5 on PC before anyone else gets to. Now this method might change over time, so um, use at your own risk. And I do not, I advise, I do not uh, direct you to do anything that damages your PC, and I do not take responsibility for anything you do um, from this video. Now first off, we're going to go over what you need. We're going to go over three parts for this video. The first part is going to show you materials and how we're going to go about getting set up to mod and convert it. Um, number two is going to be um, actually showing you the steps in converting process. And number three will be showing you the finalizing and putting it in game. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start with the first process, which is what you need. Um, you're going to first need um, Z Modeler or any familiar software that you use to actually bring in WTDs and WFTs of cars for GTA 4. Now, um, I know you're thinking, why are you converted to GTA 4? Well, um, it's right now it's not out for PC, so we're going to just go for GTA 4. This is what we're going to use to convert the car in. It's a Z Modeler 2.26, build 992. You can get any familiar version. I recommend anything over 2. Version 2.0 will work. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, next up, you're going to need uh, something to uh, convert the car. Um, basically, you're going to want to get Liberty V Common Extractor. And you can download it here on 7sins.com forums. Treads, it's in a tread in the forums. And it's GTV Modding Tools and Services right here. I'll link this in the description as well, this link to download the Liberty V Extractor. I will also link um, the Z Modeler if I can. And next up, you're going to actually need your files. Your files you're going to need, okay, is going to be on this site. There's a raw files you can get, same site as the other one, which is 7 cents. Sorry about my mouse clicking. Um, it has backup files. You can do any of the vehicles in the GTA 4 vehicles that are already in the game on disk on like uh, single player that are original, or you can do the DLC files, which are going to be listed here as well the raw files and the extracted of the DLCs. Now we're going to do an example over the DLC Independence Day Special right now. Um, so we're going to go into that and we're going to download that. And you're going to click on it and it's going to load up this. I'll send the direct link to this so you don't have to go full around searching for any of this stuff uh, in the description below. And you're going to click on uh, that and it's going to that link's going to bring you to this little Google Drive and you're going to go to Xbox 360. Um, you're going to go to Data I think we'll see <laughs> and CD images and it should be vehicles oh no I'm sorry you're actually going to go to 360 <laughs> models CD images God I'm sorry I messed up again <laughs> Xbox 360 levels GTA 5 vehicles and it's going to be right there. See, there's the Independence Day. Um, that's what we want. Um, I'm not going to do the Independence, but I was just showing you how you would go about getting to it. It's the same address every single time. Um, and basically, um, yeah, that's how you get the Google Drive you need. Now, um, okay, so we're going to do, actually, I'm going to be doing Last Team Standing because I don't really want to do that one. So. Okay, so we're going to go over here. This is the files you need. Um, this is where you're going to get your files from. I'll link a direct link to this website right here. You can get the files from uh, when you want to extract and, you know, convert vehicles. It'll have all the files in this link. Um, we're going to do an example today on how to convert a car from the GTA Online update that just came out today, um, October 3rd, 2014. It's last team standing update. We're going to click on it, and it's going to go to this link. I'll link that to the link in the description as well. And you're going to go into the same address every single time for these DLC updates. It's Xbox 360, Levels, GTA 5, Vehicles, and then there's your RPF. And you're going to click on it, and it's going to say you can't do anything, so download it. So click Download, 
and you'll download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again, but that's just how you get your file. So now you've got your file downloaded. You've got your Liberty V editor. Once you get the v, the v editor downloaded, um, you're going to you're going to save the file and you're going to extract the files out and put them in a new folder on your desktop somewhere. So you've got that done and um, then you're going to um, and then you're going to need to get something to convert your uh, your actual textures in the game and it's going to be the GTV console editor version 1.4 because this is the only version that works for DLC 1.3.1 and 1.3.2 do not work for DLC textures it will not work I've tried it it the crashes every time so get 1.4 it'll work there's a download link right here it's gonna ask you a whole bunch of confusing questions don't worry it's not malware um, you're gonna go there click regular download then it's gonna wait 60 seconds it's gonna ask you like two key questions and you gotta type some crap in and click download and then it'll download but it, it takes a long time I've already downloaded it so I don't need to download it again and that's done with that um, now that you've got all the stuff you need now basically you need to get one more thing which I'll link a download to that as well um, you need something that's going to convert your car from the V format to the IV format now I have it on mine I'm going to show you what I have here um, mine is called XDR to OBJ okay so that's what you're going to use to convert the the car itself the polygons and then you're going to use the uh, console editor the texture editor to convert the textures okay so now that we have pretty much wrapped that up um, I'm gonna show you how to extract everything and get it going and set up for this first part and then we'll be done so now that we've went over basically everything you need to do to use this to get it working we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run everything in here so okay we're gonna go to where we download our file which I probably need to download it again which I will just go ahead and do that for you guys real quick um, sorry for the uh, time delays <laughs> it's been a very crazy week here I'm gonna go ahead and just download that file completely all over again for you guys and I'm gonna uh, show you how to completely levels to GTA 5 vehicles clicking on it downloading it should be very small save the file don't uh, you're gonna save all this stuff you're not gonna open it all right once you get it you're gonna go and you're first gonna do this you're first gonna go to wherever you download it and make sure you have it okay so mine is right here okay its vehicles in the RPF file if you cannot see that extension you can go to tools folder options view and you can um, hide extensions for known file types you can have it checked it's probably going to be checked so if you want to see them uncheck it hit apply hit OK and you should be able to see your RPF okay so you see your RPF I'm, mine's in my downloads folder now we're gonna to have to find a way to get the vehicles out so how are you gonna do that well you're first going to actually go and get Liberty V and like I said extract it to a folder and you're gonna hit Liberty V execution run it and you're gonna have your choice of PS3 or Xbox 360 soon to be Xbox One and PS4 when they fix that and you're gonna make sure um, you have a key to it Xbox 360.dat key or a PS3 key if you want this to work if you need a link to that don't worry it should come with the version you download so don't worry about it as long as it's in the root it'll work and then you're gonna hit Xbox 360 you're gonna hit open you're going to go to downloads and you're going to go to your file boom it opens up your files now it's going to show your files for DLC and you're going to see a couple files with the same names these three files innovation uh, Hakachu and 4GT these are just abbreviations for Rockstar's way of um, coding the script and scripting the names of the cars now this is one car this is one car and this is one car you're confused on the extensions let me go over this real quick XFT is actually the polygons and the shape of the car XTD is actually the textures of the car and high XFT is still polygons like the original XFT but it's high which means it's a higher level of polygons I'm confused on how this works right now because the XFT which is supposed to be sharper and better quality than the regular XFT of the car is lower in size so I'm very confused um, maybe you can fool around with that and figure out which one when you uncompress it's better 
but I'm going to just go ahead and extract the ones I need, which are the textures and the model itself, which is the XFT. And we're going to go ahead, right click, export the files, same folder, downloads, and then we're done. X exit out of that. And um, you can, should go through here and you should be able to find your files. And my files right here. There we go. 40 and 40. That's all I needed. Now that we've got these extracted, we don't really need this anymore. I'm going to delete it. You don't. You can keep yours. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but then after that, you're going to go ahead and go to your um, get that file that I was telling you about. It's called XDR to OBJ. And you're going to copy it after you download it. And you're going to put it in the same directory as um, the XTD and the XFT. What you're going to do is just double click it and watch. When I run it, boom, it made a whole bunch of different files here from the original XFT and XTD. Now, basically what it did is it didn't touch your textures, your XTD file, it only touched your XFT. And what it did is it converted it to OBJ format so you can bring it in to ZModeler and it gave you the metadata, NTL. You want to make sure these two are in the same folder when you bring it into ZMod so it will map everything to the car from the textures. So you won't have to do a lot of problem, time consuming shadering unless you really want to go into that for this model then go ahead but that's what you want to do. So now that we've got that we don't really need the XFT. I'm going to go ahead and delete the XFT and we've got these two all good. Now um, we don't need XDR anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. Now we're going to need the other thing to get the textures out because that's all we need now is the textures. So we're going to go, we've downloaded it. It's called V Console Editor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run it. And we're going to open the Forge GT. And boom, you've got your badges and everything right here for, the, for it. And you're going to select them all. I would just say export all. And put them in the same folder as... Um, you originally put everything else. So I'm going to go to that local disk, user, owner, I have Windows 7, it's a hassle, <laughs> and then downloads, and then OK. It should make sure you count the files, there's four. Close it, you're done with that. You don't need the texture editor anymore or Liberty V anymore. I'm just going to delete those to get them off my desktop because I don't need them. Um, Next up, we're going to go to downloads and make sure they're in there. Okay, so we got the badges. They're going to be in a DDS format. So keep that in mind to remember that. There's going to be four of them. DDS, 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 DDS. It's going to convert it the same way as it came in. And we're going to use these DDSs to uh, bring in to ZModeler. Those are the textures. So we're going to get the textures now. And we're going to get, we're going to get those four textures. We're going to get the MTL, the OBJ. And we're going to cut those. And we're going to make a new folder on our desktop and name it um, GTAV car and we're going to paste all those files in it and we're actually going to go and get that XTD and we're going to <laughs> I didn't say STD we're going to delete the XTD we don't need it anymore so now that that's done we're good we don't need it anymore now what we need to do is we need to get our vehicle share file. Now this file I cannot find online. I will give you a link to mine just so you can have it. Especially made for this. Um, and basically it's GTA 5's vehicle share. All the vehicle share. And you're going to need all of this when you do it. Um, I'll send you mine which is right here. And it basically has all the plates and everything extra you need to get your model working now. Basically we've done uh, converted the model. Now we're going to go to the step um, two of the process, which is setting it all up and putting it in ZModeler ready to model and convert. So this is what we're going to do. Open up ZModeler and then we're going to go up here to the top and there's a little green like cactus with a sun button. You're going to hit that, hit add. There's an add button right here. And then you're going to go to your GTV car and you're going to get all your badges. You can see they actually show up too when you click on them. So select them all in the window and open them. It's going to bring them all in. You can see all of them there. And then once you get those in this actual text editor, you're going to import all the textures you need at one time. Because if you do not import textures first, it's going to, when you load the model in, it's not going to trace the, the textures to the positioning on the model and it's, going to cr it's not going to work or it's going to crash. Or it's just going to be a blank model and it's not going to be fun because you're not going to, you're going to have to remap all the textures if you import textures after you import the model. But other than that, you've got it pretty much well off if you do it this way. So you put these four textures in and then you're going to add 
and you're gonna go to your vshare file. Mine's in my computer, local disk, you don't worry about where it's at, but I'll, it's where yours is at. And you're gonna go to your vshare folder and you're gonna get all the plates, everything from here. And you're just gonna okay and open it. And you're gonna bring it all in. This is where we're gonna actually click okay now. And all these textures are loaded into the into the console on this Z modeler now. Now that that's done, we can import our model. We're gonna go and we're gonna hit this blue import arrow. Also next to it, it's a red one, you can export stuff too, just in case you want to know. Hit import and you're gonna go to your model. Mine's on my desktop. And you guessed it, GTV car, and you're gonna click OBJ and no mesh splits. And okay, and import it. And boom, you should have your car imported and it should be kind of already mapped. Now if you zoom into the car, you're going to see everything should be almost exactly mapped already. And if not, you messed up. You should have pretty much everything. Eh, mine's missing one thing, which is a license plate. Namely because I probably didn't bring in the bump map, but that's okay. We'll figure, fix that in a minute. Um, that's pretty much the car and that's how you bring it in. And um, next up, this next part two, I'm going to be doing um, the car conversion and getting it all converted for you guys. And then part three, we're going to be go ahead, going ahead and showing you how to get it in game and working. So stay tuned if you want to see more of it. And this is pretty much the end of this video. So just keep watching if you want to see the next video. It'll just play after this.